<laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do a part four because um, I was trying to swipe away some text messages that were getting in the way and I closed the camera by mistake. So this is part four. Today is January 28th, 2024. And once again, I am reading National Geographic from 1971. And the article is Maui, where the old Hawaii still lives. And I'm sorry, I'm going to just jump right back in. So if you want to hear it before this, I'm midway through the paragraph. So go to part three to get the whole paragraph. Um, for a look into the valley, I climbed with Ranger Tom Vaughn into, along a slippery waterlogged ridge through tangles of fern and vine and fallen trees to a promontory, promontory called Palikea behind the green land gave out a, for, a froth of white surf and black lava, endless wash of blue Pacific ahead of a magnificent, magnificent cloud dappled, dappled valley choked with green climbed in one sweeping turn all the way to the rim of the Halakala crater. Not many men have ever looked into this valley, Tom told me. Far fewer have gone into it. It is truly one of the most wild places on earth, an almost impenetrable rainforest. And this is the picture. And let's read the caption before continuing the article. Cauldron of dawn, gilded clouds, brims in Halakala crater, lava spilled from the slopes of 1790. Recent efforts of National Geographic trustees Lawrence S. Rockefeller. <laughs> oh, these names, they pop up everywhere. Nature Conservatory have helped add the unspoiled Kapahola Valley on the volcano's southeast flank to Halakala's National Park, thus preserving the magnificent portion of Maui's primeval wilderness. That is quite a picture. All right. <clears throat> An expedition sponsored by the Nature Conservative Conservatory in the Department of Interior struggled through Kapahulu since in 1967. It found that 90% of the plant species in the upper reaches of the native island were in most places in the island exotic plants, but have all but crowded the indigenous growth. Moreover, the scientists found a number of birds, various varieties of honey creepers that are exceedingly rare. One, the Maui Nukapui Pu'u, that had not been seen for 71 years. Through a gift of part of the valley by the Lawrence Rockefeller and through the efforts of the Nature Conservatory of many citizens, virtually the entire sweep of Kap Kapahulu from the sea crater has recently become part of Halakala Natural Park. Thousands of acres will never be open to exploitation for the unseeable future. Kapahulu, it will be safe primitive wilderness and textbook nature's past one of the things that makes Maui very special to me. Often in the island, I heard the expression, Maui no koi, that means Maui is the best. Um, with that sentiment, I most certainly agree. And that's the end of the article. <laughs> I'll try and stitch those last two parts together because that was only three more minutes after I accidentally stopped it. Um, just one more thing. I am reading a book, um, called Burn Back Better by, um, survivors of Vola Haina fires, and I'm gonna grab it real quick and show you. I recommend getting this book if you want to learn more about what's going on in Lahaina right now. And perfect storm of the perfect crime. Anyways, that's all for now. Um, I know these articles are fairly long. Hope you enjoy them.
I thought there was a lot of people that are interested in Maui at the moment, so I wanted to give some of the history. Because I really, I've, even though I've never been there, I feel very connected to it since this fire. And um, I just want people to remember. Remember Lahaina. Love you all. Take care. You know, like, share, subscribe. Do the thing. Love you. Bye.